take you through a series of five different core movements. So here we are, we're gonna start out, grab a mat. Uh, you don't need any other equipment for this workout, okay? So we're gonna take it down to the mat. I want you to lay down. I want you to bring your knees up at 90 degrees in what we call tabletop. And I want you to raise your hands up above. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna extend the right leg as we extend the left arm behind us, okay? Bring it back to center. Let's take the right arm back and the left arm, sorry, left leg. Here we are kind of alternating. The core nice and engaged. This is really a beginner move. Everyone can reap the benefits from this. Awesome. All right, we're gonna take it to our side. You guys know what side planks look like. We want to make sure you've got your elbow directly below your shoulder. Beginners, you're gonna stay on your knees as you raise up your hips, okay? If you wanna take it all the way, you're gonna lift up your body. You can keep your hand resting right here on your hip. If you wanna extend your arm out, you're welcome to do so. Those are just some variations for you. Make sure you're gonna do this on both sides. Okay, the third move I'm gonna show you is what we call the clamshell. A lot of times when we do core, we feel that actually we're engaging our hip flexors more. So if you do the clamshell, you're gonna bring the soles of your feet together, which really kind of shuts off, the, off those hip flexors. Hands behind your head. And what you're gonna do is gently pull yourself up, tap your knees to your elbows. Again, this is focusing on our core, not getting those hip flexors and legs in Okay, nice job. All right, we're gonna stay here down on the mat. The next one is gonna be our toe taps. So you're gonna gently tuck your chin into your chest, elevate your head, neck, and shoulders up off the floor. Get your arms out straight, and we're gonna alternate sides, reaching for your calf. Come back to the center, alternating sides. Work your obliques. Excellent. Okay, our fifth and final move. We did the side plank before, now we're gonna go into full plank. So some variations. Beginners, we're gonna stay down on our elbows, and we're gonna stay on our knees, okay? You can hold that there. If you're ready for the next step, you simply bring your knees up off the floor, and make sure those hips stay low. I don't wanna see your butt up in the sky. And if you really want to go up into full plank, it's going to look like this. Again, I really want you to focus on your wrist being below your shoulders. Hold that plank. Let's see if we can get 20 seconds. More advanced, we're looking for 30 or even a full minute. Okay, everyone, great job. That was your core workout for today. Those of you that are participating in our virtual 50K Go The Distance Challenge, if you were to do this workout three to four times, complete rotation of those five moves I showed you, that would approximately come out to about 15 minutes, so you can use that as your daily workout. Hope you're having fun with the challenge. Don't forget to leave any comments below. Uh, give me some suggestions on some other videos you would like to see as well. So from me and my dog Dibley, have a great day.